Thank you. Um, Lauren, since we were just talking about Representative sure. Warren, yeah, well, would first. you like yeah. to come up? Sure. Appreciate it. Well, first of all, I, I want to thank the Hmong uh, uh, Cultural Center for having this, hosting this uh, uh, event. I do want to make a point uh, from your, your, uh, our office, and I'm sure uh, uh, the Senator's office really had nothing to do with this other than we were invited. So this has, right, am I right? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, the congressman was invited, the senator was invited. And thank you for coming. Uh, and so we really didn't have anything to do with this. Uh, secondly, the, uh, on behalf of Congressman Kind, who is in Washington today, that's why he's not here, uh, he did want me to mention to you that uh, a couple of issues. First of all, he's always been an advocate for Social Security and Medicare. He's always fought against any privatization uh, of, of, of Social Security. And I have a statement from him here that uh, I got off his, his, his website today. Since coming to Congress, I have fought hard to protect Social Security from efforts to undermine this important safety net for seniors. Social Security is the foundation of our society based on the premise that if you work hard and play by the rules, you will have the stability and security and the guaranteed income in your older years. I am committed to preserve this program for generations to come. That was just it was just recently, uh, and, um, and and Tom mentioned uh, to Ron's support of the, the change CPI. I do want to let you know that you have every opportunity because that is not going to be coming up for a while. It's just a proposal, and I cannot agree with you more. It's time to contact all your your elected officers, let them know how you feel. You can write us, you can call us, you can email us. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and give you, and let us know how you feel because uh, the congressman never really does come out with a position until there's legislation on the floor, and so he's willing to listen to anybody uh, who wants to uh, weigh in on, on, on any of the on any of this budget process coming up on Medicare and uh, Social Security. I'm actually here to listen. The congressman couldn't come. I took a page of, pages of notes already. And I will be around for as long as it's necessary. If anybody wants to come and talk to me about any of the concerns, pass on to Congressman Kind. I'm certainly willing to do that. What is your last name? It's well. I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm, my name is Lauren. It's L-O-R-E-N. The last name is Cannonberg, uh, K-A-N-N-E-N-B-E-R-G. I'm Congressman Kind's district chief of staff. I have been with him for 17 years. I have been there since day one. I know you've got some petitions to get yes, to. Before you go along, could yeah. you talk about us writing in? How extensive do you have to give a, a, a thesis of please vote no and here's why? Or can you just say, I'm against this period? Does either one, I mean, all right, is it a, a postcard for no or 30 pages for no? It just we become a tally mark? Because what prevents me a lot of times from writing is, well, what can I say that the person doesn't know already to more inform his vote? Yeah, I, that's a good question. Uh, a tally mark, we get literally hundreds and hundreds uh, of letters every day. There's no way the Congress can come, or the President of the United States, or anyone can read all of them. But we do keep track of everyone. The Congressman, every night, gets a sample of the different letters that are coming in with, with a, an account of what's coming in. So everything you write is important. So don't ever hesitate to write your member of Congress, ever. But can a, can a postcard that says vote no, does that count just as much as... The well, the problem with those postcards the is they're not names? personal. An agency passes out a bunch of postcards to everybody. I, that is not a, as effective as writing your own letter or your own email or making a phone call to our office. That is much more effective. <laughs> than filling out a postcard that a particular agency's hand out to their, their people. To be honest, I'm just speaking for what I've seen in all the years I've been here. So, yeah, I just mentioned something. Um, I think you've hit the extremes. I don't think you want to do a postcard. I don't think you want to do 30 pages. I think you want something in the, in the middle. Uh, and, uh, you know, postcards or letters to the to Washington take forever to get there, so it's better if you're going to do a letter to send it to the district office. It'll get much faster response. Also, you know, I'm a big proponent of letters, but 
you know, the, the technology has taken over. Emails are so common now that people really do respond to emails, uh, particularly if they know you're a constituent. Uh, I, I know I went on uh, uh, Congressman Kine's site, and in fact, I couldn't email because I'm not in his district. You know, you have to actually be in a zip code that's that's his district, or it won't even it won't even be accepted. But in terms of the length, I think it's always better to give one or two reasons why you are for something or against it. You know, you do, they don't want a they don't want a, a master's thesis. <laughs> they don't want that. They won't. They probably won't read it. Maybe staff will. Maybe Lauren will read it. But, but the rest they won't. So, but, you know, bullet points. I, you know, I'm a great fan of three points. <laughs> One, two, three. You know, this is why I want something, this is why I'm against it. Um, so anyway. Yeah, and just to add to it, when you call in, so, so you know what happens with that call, uh, first of all, I can spend 30 minutes listening to somebody call on a particular topic. I'm certainly not going to write those 30 minutes, even though it's the, every, minute of, every bit of it's interesting. But we immediately, get on, on our, our computer, we have a program, and we have your name and, and, and whatever information you've given, and a synopsis of what you're, what, you're, what you're calling in for. That immediately, I mean the same day, is put into the Washington, D.C. office. And then those are then uh, put into a report for the congressman to see. So that happens <coughs> the same day you call in. So just Thank to let you, you know. Thank you. Right. And now on, uh, before we turn to John Medinger, I would like to, on behalf of the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, present um, petitions to uh, Congressman Kahn through his, uh, Mr. Kahnberg uh, that is a petition to protect earned benefits under Social Security and Medicare, signed by about 300 uh, people in uh, Congressman Kahn's district. So I'd like to now present those to Mr. Kahnberg on, on behalf of the National Committee.